Oh, for fuck's sake. I... I never thought I'd have to say this, but this bitch, woman, whatever you want to call her, somehow managed to put super glue in her hair. So before I get on with this video, boys, this is indeed a collab with Lieutenant Mayhem. So if you would like to go and subscribe, that would be very nice. Link in the description. In fact, I'm going to add her in the title. So you don't even have to click on the link in the description. Just click on the app. It'll fucking take you to a channel. Also, join my new Discord server. Link in the description. Thank you. So if you've come to this video looking for a pretty serious explanation on what happened and what's going to happen in the future, you can just leave right now because that's not what you're gonna get in any way because you know we're just here to have fun we're just here to take the piss out of people that do stupid stuff on the internet which happens every day so pretty much this woman her name is tessica if i'm saying that wrong i don't fucking apologize it's just i'm saying it how i see it fuck you so one day you know she ran out of her hairspray and then she was like you know what? I see this Gorilla Glue hair, this Gorilla Glue spray. Uh, let me fucking put it in my hair. And the rest is fucking history. She pretty much became viral from it. So, uh, let me show you the OG TikTok where it first happened. Hey, y'all. For those of y'all that know me know, my hair has been like this for about a month now. It's not by choice. No. It's not by choice. When I do my hair, I like to, you know, finish it off with the little got-to-be glue spray. You know, just to keep it in place. Well, I didn't have any more got-to-be glue spray, so I used this. Gorilla glue spray. Bad, bad, bad idea. Y'all, look. My hair, it don't move. You hear what I'm telling you? Bruh, it don't move. Bruh. I've washed my hair 15 bruh, times. Bruh. And it don't move. Stiff wear. Woo! Bruh. My hair. So I'm going to tell y'all like this. If you ever, ever run out of got to be glue spray, don't ever, ever use this. Unless you want your hair to be like that. For so admittedly, you know, I presume nowadays reading the bottle of shit isn't a thing. Like legit, if she opened her eyes for a second and actually took time to look at the bottle, she could have avoided all this. Because on the front of the bottle, it says multi-purpose, wood, metal, fabric, foam, plastic, paper, glass, leather, and more. So, you know, if it can be used on all those things, I'm pretty certain you'd be able to tell that it's not for your fucking hair. It says she did look at it and still proceeded to use it, then that's her own fault. If she looked at that bottle and saw that it was for f stuff like floor, glass, and put it in her hair willingly, that's just natural selection. But admittedly, I do feel a bit bad for her because she now literally has to get surgery to remove her hair from her fucking head. So she did actually end up making a GoFundMe, which is now on like 14K, which is pretty pog, you know? She's actually getting money for the surgery. But you know, it also just did come out recently that they're doing the surgery for free. So if she made that beforehand just because she thought she had to pay for it and now she gets all that 14K for herself, don't fucking donate to charity. Go and buy some fucking fast food, KFC, McDonald's. That's that's what I'd fucking do. You know, being a nice person, nah, nah. Being a fat cunt, that's the way life should be. Like legit, you could do a lot of things with 14 grand. So, if she has to spend it on any other operations or anything, then that's fucking sucks for you. Uh, you got unlucky on that one. But, if she can actually use the money for herself, you know, the fast food is an option, but V-Bucks, V-Bucks is also a very good fucking option. In fact, you know what, send the money to me. I'll fucking spend it for you. But on a serious note, if there's anything you can get from this whole situation happening for people, read fucking bottles before you use them, because not everything is what you think it is. You could bite into a cheeseburger from McDonald's and there could be a fucking pipe bomb inside it. It's the fucking UK. Or the world in general. Anything could happen. That's going to be all from my part right now, boys. And as I said, we have a fucking feature on this uh, video. So we're going over to the woman now. So prepare your ears. Uh, it is indeed a woman's voice, which is fucking cringe. So without further ado, Lieutenant Gayhem, take the fucking stage. Hello everybody, welcome to my portion of the video. If you don't know who I am, well, my name is Mayhem. I fuck that bitch. Maybe you should get to know me. Link in description. You know, Valentine's Day is coming up. Everybody's getting all cozy with their booze. You know, you want to look good. So this woman decided that she was going to put Gorilla Glue in her hair and she went so viral. The life that I guess I'm gonna have to live. <laughs> now, something that I don't think a lot of people have picked up on is that yes, it's called Gorilla Glue, but Gorilla Snot is a brand of hair products in the United States of like hair gel and stuff. They have a gorilla on them and they have like a red one. 
I don't know. Have you guys ever been like eating a yogurt and you put the spoon in the garbage and like the empty container in the sink because you're like brain just gets scrambled. I'm just saying that it's possible. I don't want to say that I'm not dumb enough to do it because Narco and I both know that I definitely am. Now that is all of the brain cells that I'm gonna use. That is all the time I'm gonna spend defending her. Now let's just make fun of her in pure narcolept fashion. Imagine you had to freeze your hair for the rest of eternity. This is the style that you chose to go for. Girl, this is a lost cause. You just need to shave it off. Look on the bright side. At least you're never gonna have to do your hair again. Like, imagine how much time that's gonna save off your morning routine. Also, couldn't you wait until your hair grew a little bit and it wasn't attached, like, directly to your scalp before, like, trying to get it off? I feel a little bit bad for her. I'm, like, trying to brainstorm ways for her to get it off. How brave of her to come forward on the internet knowing that she was gonna get flamed to let all of us know not to put industrial strength glue in our hair. Um, I personally very much needed this warning. I was actually planning on putting Gorilla Glue in my pe- <laughs> I can't make that joke on the Narcolab channel. Also, not to be that person, but you can also remove really strong adhesives with gasoline. Also, some fancy ass surgeon in Beverly Hills offered to take it off in a procedure that's gonna take two or three days. I don't know what the fuck a plastic surgeon is gonna do. Like, are they gonna transplant her fucking scalp? She went so viral. She is now verified on Instagram with more than 600,000 followers. Like, this Gorilla Glue girl is literally gonna become the new Dr. Phil girl. We are looking at the next Danielle Brigoli viral meme social media person. We are witnessing history. So anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed my part of the video. Make sure to visit the links in the description to subscribe to my channel. And if you're one of my viewers just visiting on the Narcolep channel, make sure you subscribe and leave a like and leave a comment as well so we can get this guy to 1K for fuck's sake. And yeah, hopefully I'll see you guys on my channel. Bye. That is indeed going to be it for today's video, boys. I appreciate you for watching. Mayhem, thanks for agreeing to do this video. Uh, I know it's my channel's a bit shit and fucking memey, but thank you. So yeah, once again, boys, go and subscribe to her. Link in the description or just click on the art in the title. Thank you for watching. Got 10 subs in a day yesterday. Pretty fucking pog champ. I appreciate it, honestly. Leave a like on the video if you enjoyed, motherfuckers. And once again, join my fucking Discord server. It's free. We're going to be chatting about a bunch of fucking memes in there. Potential future video ideas will be discussed in there. So come and fucking join. So yeah, that's it for today's video, boys. Thank you for watching. I might upload again tomorrow. You never know. We could be on a daily streak. Good fucking bye. You're never gonna make it. You're not good enough. There's a million other people with the same stuff. You really think you're different, and you must be kidding. Think you're gonna hit it, but you just don't get it. It's impossible. It's not probable. You're irresponsible. Too many obstacles. You gotta stop it, yo. You gotta take it slow. You can't be a pro. Don't waste your time no more. Who the fuck are you to tell me what to do? I don't give a damn if you say you disapprove. I'm gonna make my move. I'm gonna make it soon. And I'll do it because it's what I wanna fucking do.